everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings, and welcome to Memory Keeping Friday. Today, I wanted to jump in and talk to you guys about journaling. So I've had quite a few questions recently um, from a lot of new subscribers just asking me about journaling, um, different things that I do or how to do it. And so the very first thing I want to tell you is if you just click right up here, it's going to take you right over to my coordinating blog post. And I have a lot of journaling ideas for you guys. Okay, so there's going to be some documents you can print out um, or that you can pin to Pinterest or that you can save onto your computer. That's going to give you ideas of ways you can journal. So I'm going to make that post for you guys full of ideas because I know that can be the hardest. So let me just share with you what I do this week. And then next week I'm going to show you how I journal from my computer. So this is my current family album. And this uh, last weekend, not this weekend, but last weekend, I went in and I did a ton of journaling. I think I got all the way up to almost March or maybe right to March. Um, I did a bunch of journaling on the computer. So here are a few things that I do. The first thing um, I do is I keep a calendar in the very front of my uh, month. So I just typically do four layouts a month and I do it basically weekly. Now, I know that scares some people. This year, I am not really tending to project life weekly. Like, I'm not tending to do all my stuff weekly. I just kind of know where things happen. So, it's just because that, that's the way I've been doing project life for so long that I can't I'm not comfortable or I can't figure out how to do it monthly. So what I do is I just have my title card up here. And this year, just to make things really simple, I just have the same card um, up in the corner. And that's what I do. In February, same thing. So I just have that circle card. Um, a lot of you guys saw last time I shared, I had printed the wrong um, orientation of cards. And so I did go back. And I reprinted my cards and now I have a card for every single week and it's all the way through my album. So you can see way back here in June that we're not even in yet, I have my card. Here's August. I just took those circle cards and I dropped them in all the way through the year. So I don't even have to worry about it. So I basically do it like on a weekly basis. I kind of know when my photos are taken. I print at the end of the month. And then if for some reason I can't remember when a photo is taken, um, I just stick it in anywhere. I just fill in the gaps. And it's totally okay. Nobody's going to care if that picture was really taken on Monday or if it was taken on Sunday. I totally recognize that. So I have the calendar and I write on these calendars. These are just free calendars that I find at the beginning of every single year. Um, this particular calendar um, is penned on my Pinterest board called um, hashtag life's blessings captured. Everything that I'm using in my album is penned on that board. There's a link to that board on my coordinating blog post. So I print these calendars out. I use a eight and a half by 11 page protector. So you can see it's just in there. It's at the beginning of every month. And I kind of do jot down kind of our basic, basic things that happen. So like Kayla went back to school um, on the 4th of January. I wrote that down. Um, we had an appointment for Violet on Wednesday. Um, those kinds of things. We had Kayla's birthday. Um, I write down sometimes like Esau's payday. This calendar particularly was really nice because it had this note section um, at the bottom. And so I did uh, write down some notes like on this on in January I put my one little word for this year is accomplish January was a good month um, a good month for me and I got a 5% bonus so I just because I was talking about work so I just jot down a few notes from the month that maybe I obviously didn't take a picture of the 5% bonus that I got I thought that was significant in our life so I kind of jotted that down Okay, so then um, that helps out, and then it also gives me a place to put some memorabilia. I keep cards. Um, I get cards from um, different people in Stampin' Up!, my uplines, um, different things like that. I keep those cards right here. So 
you guys know that I just drop in my pictures like we'll go to January so you can see here or we'll go to March you can see here for March um, my title cards over here are not even they're not even um, secured down they're just in there and all my photos are in here there's no journaling or anything this I journaled um, but that uh, was another project but you can see that I don't have any journaling I did this page and I did my journaling on this page I got it completed but for the most part you can see there's no journaling so that's what I do I just get my photos in um, you guys know I set up my album ahead of time so like June uh, through July are it's already set up so everything's already in there and then I drop my photos in and I kind of move on because life can be crazy. So then um, like this last weekend what I did is I sat with my album, I sat with my computer and I did a whole bunch of journaling. Now I do both. I do, I sit and I just write out journaling like when I'm having a good handwriting day and I'm feeling confident about it and I'm feeling like, yeah, I can do this. I'll just sit with the album and I'll write it out. That usually happens in my kids' album more than our family album. I'll just grab my kids' scrapbook album, sit with a pen and just journal five or six months or like I just journaled Violet's whole album for last year. That works too because it's quick and I'm kind of in the mode of journaling. I'm not stopping and dropping in photos and then thinking. I'm just flipping through page after page after page. I'm in that mode of I'm writing, I'm journaling, and it goes quicker. Um, so with the typing out my doing it on the computer, same thing. I just sat with my computer in front of me. I'm going to show you the actual technique that I use to do that next Friday. But I just sit with my computer and then I just type out my journaling. Now I had a little bit of a hard time once I printed it. All my journaling pieces got mixed up like I cut them all up and then they were kind of mixed up and I had it was a little bit harder to place them um, in the pockets. I had to like thumb through all of them and look for the exact one and um, I'll show you a couple mistakes that I made. So the first thing is let me show you this card. So you can see right there that I had a typo. I said something twice. So what I did is I just took that, I just took a pen and I scratched it out. Like I just made a mark through it. I didn't go and retype it and recut it out and like go through the whole thing because nobody has time for that. So I'm okay with that. Like it just happened. I realized when I put it in that that had happened. So then also I have some handwriting journal journaling here because I started to handwrite my journaling and then I was like I don't I don't like how this is going. So I usually do about two cards of journaling per spread. So you can see over here I've got two cards. When you're typing out and you're using the computer for your journaling, you do tend to be able to get more journaling onto a card. So what I've done for these is I've just used Whisper White uh, cardstock. I did the measurements in my um, page program on my computer so that I knew that there'd only be a little bit of a border around it and then I just trimmed down like this one is a little bit smaller than this one because I had more journaling that kind of thing. So that's the nice thing I feel like about typing is you can get more of the story um, into your album. So then like this page only has one thing of journaling because I was able to get so much of the journaling on one card. Okay, so here I have two. So you kind of get the idea. Like here I don't have any, any journaling at all. And it might have been because you can see I accidentally cut some of my journaling wrong. So here's my journaling. Here's a block of journaling. Here's a block of journaling. But I cut off. Oh, it's upside down. But I cut off the, the part of it. It messed up. So that could be why there's no journaling here. And then also when I was cutting the squares like this is journaling and then this is journaling. This was like a little part of the bottom of the journaling that I accidentally cut off. 
so I'll just flip through here. So like in February, there's not much happening on my calendar. So the calendar I try to fill out as the month goes on or like at the beginning of the month, I try to write down the notes. That didn't happen for March or April yet. And I don't, March I'll probably just leave. Like March I'll probably leave the calendar blank. And I'm okay with that. The thing is, is that you just have to be flexible when you're doing this. March was super crazy for us. I didn't write anything down. I don't think, let's look. Yeah, see there's nothing. I have my weeks marked on my calendar of what particular project week life it project life week it is but that's it so I'm okay with this just being blank like I'm just gonna move on because I I don't know I don't know what happened in March I, I'm not I'm not worried about it so if you can just be flexible that's going to help because instead of worrying about going back and doing March I'm just moving on to April and it, it helps me stay caught up so again I just did uh, my journaling I am going to journal this but I need to go back on my computer and this is a four by four square and I was journaling in three by four squares okay so instead of stopping and trying to readjust my squares on my computer and then journal for this I just skipped over it and I was like I'll come back to that I can always handwrite it if I need to so I did all the way through um March and I was able to do it in about two hours. That's about what it took for me to um, journal. And I got all the way through March and then um, I, I got busy and stuff. So that is usually how I do our family album because I do like our family album. I just feel like it's a little bit nicer to do it on the computer, to do the journaling on the computer. And it's a little bit quicker for me. Now with my kids' album, like I said, it's a little bit quicker for me to just handwrite it a lot of times and just get it done. But I do a mix because it is important. I had a few of you um, message me or point out that it is really important for us to get our handwriting in our albums and I do really agree with that. So I do believe that there is a balance. Um, if you're not crazy about your handwriting, then try to do a mix. Do the journaling on the computer um, or a typewriter. Lots of people use old typewriters to do their journaling. So do that because that's what's going to make it more comfortable for you and you're going to be able to flow through your album. You're going to be able to keep moving on. Um, and then just every once in a while, put a little bit of your handwriting in there. Do it on a calendar at the beginning of each month or do it in a little note in a couple places with the journaling um, just that way it's sprinkled into your album but the main thing is is to not get hung up on the journaling or any aspect of the album to where you can just keep moving on keep moving on keep moving on um, because that way you don't feel behind you don't feel like uh, Sometimes when you get behind, it gets so stressful and you just feel like I'm never going to get caught up. So what's the point? So for me, if I can just keep moving forward in my albums, I feel like I can always go back and fill in the gaps that happen. You guys have seen many times I just have right in the middle of a layout a photo that's missing because I've just moved on. I know I have the photo. I just have to go back and look for it. And there'll come a day when I sit down to do that. So that is the beginning part of what we're going to talk about journaling so I would love for you guys right now if you have questions about journaling specific questions on the YouTube comments below leave me a comment and I will address them like the next couple weeks of memory keeping Friday we're going to be talking about journaling we're going to be diving in to really help you be able to tell your story better so I need those comments below of what you guys struggle with or what you want me to talk about or you can go over to my coordinating blog post it will take you to my coordinating facebook page um, that will have the post of the of today and you can leave me a comment there and as always i try to interact with you guys answer answer back with comments back so thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out with me today tomorrow i will be back with another look at violet's album as we um, are doing a second hop for autism awareness and there's some really great Stampin' Up! demonstrators that will be hopping again this weekend and I would love for you guys to come back tomorrow and check out the special projects that I did for Violet's album um, and as always I hope you have a very blessed day. Thanks guys. I want to hear